WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman for this 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. We're looking at the Dow up 108 to 33,943. This is leg C in the Chapman Wave methodology. If I could just find this right now, I can show this to you. We're always looking for a, once a buy signal goes to a buy mode, which is a Zen, there should be at least a peak D. Then we have to assess exactly what's going on. So, so far, that's good. Looking at the S&P, S&P. Oh, and I did have for the Dow, I had a Chapman Wave trend gauge, low reading reading today and that suggests that there should be a negative action in the in the Dow probably Monday morning and the, before it attempts a rally so uh, that's what I'm anticipating we'll see what happens how we close today of course it's also important uh, S&P's up 20 at uh, 4315 uh, this is really good action. Very quick peak e, e, F, and G there's an alternate count so let's say there's it's also in C like the Dow then we should see a pullback, maybe maybe Monday, and then Tuesday, another high, uh, or Wednesday, and then we got to assess what's going on. Looking at the QQQ, um, it's actually it did. No, it didn't. 435766, yes, it did. It went to a higher high. So this also has a G slash. Oh, everything's in sync now. So there should be higher highs to come next week, and then we're going to see what happens, analyze it as, it as it happens. We're looking at the IWM, which was lagging a little bit. Oops, I typed in the wrong place. Let's get this done real quickly. IWM, Russell 2000, small caps, uh, lagging again. It was leading. Now it's lagging. It's struggling at uh, 185. I would love to see 190 hit uh, this part of June, before later in June, I'd, I'd like it to see it sooner than later. Looking at gold, uh, gold is holding okay. case unchanged in 1978. I think it's holding well considering how the dollar's down, but the dollar, in fact, is weakening. It's down. It's uh, down. It's up nine cents today at 103.42, but um, it's making lower highs and lower lows, but all within a range. Looking at the TLT, that's the bonds. Oh, I didn't do that in my show. I forgot. The TLT is down 11 ticks. It's just yields in a trading band. That's the way I'm looking at it. And crude oil, there we go, crude oil. Crude oil is uh, up 30 cents. It's stuck in the lower range. We'll be looking at that. Now, a couple of things that we need to do at this particular point is just to say that within the context of the semiconductors, and that's really important because they scream to the upside to the 151.71 level, they kind of lagging. They haven't got there yet. I'm using them somewhat as a clue of momentum of the tech sector. And so far, it's saying uh, we're holding our gains, but we're not making new highs. Have a wonderful rest of the week, uh, the weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. As a chapter, I